What is going on guys? It is your boy Gamers Goon here today to give you guys my takeover in your house predictions. This show is going to be good. It's on a Sunday. Takeovers usually are on Sundays. So you know it's going to be special. You know it's going to be special and the card they have aligned for us tonight is very, very solid. This could be a show that we're going to look back on and say this is one of the better pay-per-views of the 2020 calendar year. I love everything about this card. Let's get right on into it. Let's talk about Finn Balor versus Damian Priest. This is a singles match. No, there's no stipulations. Um, obviously, Finn Balor does have a takeover streak to continue, um, but obviously... Damian Priest is kind of on the uprise here in NXT. Um, Finn Balor, I don't, I don't know if it's me or not. The vibe of Finn Balor right now is not the same vibe I got when he first returned to NXT. I would have Damian Priest win. However, that's not the predictions. The pr that's just what I think. With my prediction. I'm going to go off on a limb and say they're going to continue to build Finn Balor's takeover streak. I'm going to say they're going to have Finn Balor win this match here against Damian Priest and possibly go on further to face maybe Adam Cole or maybe a Keith Lee. I don't know, but I feel like they're not going to do it here with Finn Balor. They're not going to have Damian Priest go over. So just what I think here. Um, next, a match I'm actually really excited for is the women's triple threat match. Um, Charlotte Flair, Rhea Ripley, and Io Shirai. Um, Io Shirai and Rhea Ripley are two people I can't praise enough. Um, obviously, if you've watched me, you know I'm not a big Charlotte fan. She could put on good matches. Um, that's the one good thing about Charlotte Flair. I just don't like the push that she always gets. Um, however, here I think it's a little too soon to put the title back on Rhea. And I think it's a little too soon to get Io the title just because I feel like the money there is having Charlotte put somebody over in a one-on-one -on -one match. And obviously Rhea Ripley could pin an Io Shirai instead of Charlotte. I just don't like the idea of changing the title here, um, especially in a triple threat match where Charlotte Flair wouldn't necessarily be putting over somebody. Um, like I think she should have put over Rhea Ripley at WrestleMania. Um, but... I'm going to have to go off on a limb and say Charlotte's probably going to retain the title here just because it's a little too soon, first off. Second off, it's a triple threat match. She has an easy way to win. She can win the match. She doesn't have to, um, I guess you'd call it burying, but she wouldn't have to beat one of these women necessarily. I mean, yes, obviously she could, but it's very, it could, Yo Shirai could hit a moonsault onto Rhea Ripley. Charlotte being opportunist throws EO out of the ring. It's it's a very easy way to go about things. Um, I I think Charlotte Flair is going to end up winning the match, most because she's the most vindictive one out of all of them. She'll be the opportunist. She'll come in and be sneaky. I think that's where that match is going to end up heading. This match I said it on the Blue Riot podcast uh, that I was on for the NXT review. Um, make sure you do go over there. I will link that in the description below. But I, like I said over there, this could be the match that at the end of the day on, well, actually at the end of tonight, since I'm recording this on Sunday, you are going to look back and you might be you might be thinking what, what was the best match on this card. This could be one of those matches that we talk about for the weeks to come. This could be one of those matches that everybody just raves about. The talent is there in this match. Rhea Ripley is a star. Io Shirai is a star. And we all know how good Charlotte Flair is in the ring. Whether or not you are a fan of her is beyond the question. She's good in the ring. And this will be a very, very interesting match here. I think Charlotte Flair is, however, going to win this match. Um, next, we got Tommaso Ciampa versus Karrion Cross. Obviously, Karrion Cross will be coming out with Scarlett Bordeaux. Um, I'm sorry. I'm a big Tommaso Ciampa fan. I'd love to see Ciampa win and win and win and continue to win until 
until everybody gets tired of it because Champa is that good that I just want to see the man succeed. However, Karrion Cross is new. Karrion Cross's first takeover against one of the better members of NXT, one of the, the higher profile guys in Tommaso Champa. If Karrion Cross wins this, this does wonders for Karrion Cross's career. This skyrockets him. That is exactly why I have Karrion Cross beating Tommaso Ciampa. Not just beating him. He does have Scarlet Bordeaux, so he might pull some cheap tactics. Maybe Scarlet Bordeaux interferes. Doesn't matter. Karrion Cross, I'm willing to bet money. Will be walking out of NXT TakeOver in your house with a victory over Tommaso Ciampa and with a 1-0 record at TakeOver. I'm going carry on Cross. I really think that he's going to be the next big thing in NXT, and I would not be surprised if it actually happens. What, what match should we get in? Let's get into the six-woman tag team match. We got Mia Yim, Shotzi Blackheart, and Tegan Knox going up against Candice LeRae, Dakota Kai, and Raquel Gonzalez. Um... This this match is probably going to be the match we're not going to care so much about the, on the card. Um, but could be interesting. You got the talent in the match. Uh, Candice LeRae is really talented. Dakota Kai, really talented. Tegan Knox, same thing. Um, I think we're all starting to like Shotzi Blackheart. And then Mia Yim is decent, but I'm not a huge fan of her. This could be a very good match. The only problem I have with this match is I don't really care about this match at all. No, no investment. I don't care. There's not much of a story outside of what happened on um, NXT this past week um, with the interferences. <clears throat> at the end of the day, the only thing I can really see happening here is them putting over who they think is going to be the... Them putting over the team that has the person on it that they think has the most potential here in NXT. And the way they've been treating Shotzi Blackheart as of late, I think that she is going to end up being the the one to maybe go on to face Charlotte later on. So I think right here they're going to give um, Shotzi Blackheart, Mia Yim, and Tegan Knox the victory. Um, this is Raquel Gonzalez and Shotzi Blackheart's first NXT takeover. Um, obviously, Mia Yim's been out of takeover. Same thing with Tegan Knox, um, Candice LeRae, Dakota Kai. But we will see two people here in their first takeover, see how they can handle the, the pay-per-view, how they can handle the bright lights when everybody's watching. Um, I think that at the end of the night, though, Shotzi Blackheart's team is going to end up winning this. Mostly because I think they want Shotzi Blackheart to be the next thing in that women's division. It will be very interesting to see how this match plays out. But at the end of the day, I don't have much investment as a fan. Um, there's not much of a story, so I'm not going to get too excited about this match. Even though this match could be really good, especially when you got Candice LeRae in there. You got Dakota Kai in there. You got um, Tia Knox in there. You got Shotzi Blackheart. It could be really good. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't get too invested in it at this point being. All right. Let's talk about the NXT North American Championship held by Keith Lee. Everybody loves Keith Lee. Keith Lee is one of the best things about NXT. The man is absolutely brilliant. The only issue I have in the, this entire Johnny Gargano Keith Lee story is the fact that they were in the same ring together on Wednesday. However, they didn't really do much, so it could easily be a very, very good match here. It's not given away yet. Um, we'll see Keith Lee and Johnny Gargano. This match will be really solid. Um, but at the end of the day, I think everybody knows where this match is going to head. Um, Johnny Gargano in NXT really hasn't been the guy that's going to hold a title for a long period of time. So even if he did win this match, he'd probably lose the title at the next at the next takeover. 
That is exactly why I'm going to go off on a limb, and I'm going to say Keith Lee is going to hold the title at this takeover, and he's continuing to hold it. I'm picking Keith Lee. I'm picking the one and only Keith Lee. Everybody loves Keith Lee. So do I. The man's great. The man is very athletic for a bigger guy. And the man deserves that NXT North American Championship. I'm keeping the title on Keith Lee. Here are my predictions. Next, we got Adam Cole versus the Velveteen Dream. Um, this is a last chance back a lot brawl for the NXT Championship. You know what that means. That means if Mr. Velveteen Dream loses, he will no longer be able to fight for the NXT Championship as long as Adam Cole is holding that championship. I'm, I, I, usually, if that's the scenario, my prediction would be, Velveteen Dream, but it's but it's much deeper than that this time. It's much deeper. Velveteen Dream, he's what twenty four years old, twenty three maybe. I don't even know. He's young. He's got many years left in NXT and in pro wrestling. He might even be called up for all we know. Doesn't matter. He's already this talent. Then you got Adam Cole has a year-long title run. Isn't it a little bit disrespectful to Adam Cole to pull the title off of him after a year-long run in front of no fans? He doesn't give the Velveteen Dream that rub? Maybe it's just me that just feels like there needs to be fans for this moment, but that wouldn't be the same. But Velveteen Dream, who's to say Velveteen Dream wins this match? He could very well lose this match. And somebody else could come to be Adam Cole. Maybe a carry on cross. Maybe, maybe anybody. Maybe Finn Balor goes on to face Adam Cole. Velveteen Dream doesn't, it's not a lock that Velveteen Dream wins this. Usually I would say it's a lock, but it's not. It's not. And you see, Velveteen Dream's whole story here is he grew up in NXT. Adam Cole, obviously, year-long title run. He runs the show. But Velveteen Dream, he's homegrown. He will be there eventually. The only question is when. And here are my predictions. I'm going to go off on a limb. And even though I love Velveteen, I'm going to have to say that Adam Cole, at the end of the night, will be still your NXT champion. I'm picking Adam Cole here. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Let me know who you guys think is going to win each match. Um... Whether it be Adam Cole, Velveteen Dream. Maybe maybe you think Mia Yim's team's going to lose. Maybe you think Johnny Gargano might win the North American Championship. Let me hear what you guys have to say down below. Um, I will be liking your comments. So there, that's some incentive in any ways. Or not any ways. Wow. Um, as always, make sure you guys go follow me Twitter. Because I will be active there. I know that's been a rare thing over the past seven days. Um, but at Gamers Goon YT, you will be able to live tweet with the goon himself. Um, I will be live tweeting during the show. Um, I will also probably be uploading tonight instead of tomorrow morning. I will be filming tonight. And depending on how long the review goes, it will be uploaded tonight. However, if I'm filming past around 11, 30, 12 o'clock, I will definitely be posting tomorrow because I don't want to continue to, to just be on this horrible sleep schedule because I'm, 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 I'm all over the place right now, man. But Anyways, make sure you guys click that red subscribe button. Make sure you guys ring the bell. And make sure you guys come back later tonight or early tomorrow morning 
for your NXT TakeOver in your house review. I'm excited for the show. I hope you guys are too. Um, as you can hear, my voice is kind of out of it right now. So we're going to get through today the best we can. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. And I will see you guys in the TakeOver in your house review. Gamers Goon, out.